track weather with meteorologist Ryan Matouche. Welcome back, everyone, and good Saturday morning. It's the weekend. You made it, and here is what we are tracking. Scattered showers are possible today. Very uh, isolated in nature. We're really not tracking much more than 30 to 40 percent chance. Nonetheless, pack that umbrella just in case. Humid and warm with some afternoon clearing in the forecast. So we're going to be starting out with some mostly cloudy skies today, eventually transitioning to partly cloudy a little bit later uh, in the evening. More unsettled weather, though, unfortunately, on the horizon, our upper air patterns really just not changing a whole lot. So yes, more rain chances um, in the forecast. Outside, our satellite and radar starting to show a few more of these spotty showers picking up. So once again, if you're heading outside this morning, don't be surprised to see just a quick raindrop or two. Now I've been showing this map quite a bit this morning because I think it's uh, quite interesting. We're watching a high pressure system a little bit further out east, and this is generally clockwise motion. And then a little bit further west, we have a big low pressure system bringing some severe weather to the inner mountain west. That system is moving counterclockwise. So Kansas, we're sandwiched right in between these two systems, and you can see how we're just watching this moisture flow in from the south. And something interesting to note here as well. This is a 12 hour loop. You can see a few of those thunderstorms popping up yesterday evening just outside the front range in Colorado. Now here in Kansas this morning, our Holden cam showing that cloud cover across the area. Once again, lots of moisture. Dew points are in the 60s this morning. Relative humidity is quite high. We're seeing a few scattered drops on our Mayetta cam right there. And once again, we're going to be starting out mostly cloudy, but we should be seeing just a few breaks in the cloud cover by the afternoon. As far as visibility goes, it's not too bad. It's improving ever so slightly. The Junction City area is still down to about five miles of visibility. Six in Concordia and seven just a little bit further north as well. In Topeka, temperatures in the upper 60s, some spots seeing lower 70s, a slight breeze out of the south, about seven miles per hour. Some more temperatures locally, upper 60s, and we're watching 67 in Hiawatha as well as Concordia. Now, by this afternoon, notice our temperature differences across the map. Upper 60s down to the southeast, lower 80s up towards the northwest. The main reason being is because we're watching those scattered showers come in from the south. And as these rain cooled showers move through the area, it's going to limit how much daytime heating we're going to get. So uh, likely the further south you go, the less warm it'll be. And further northwest, we'll be seeing lower 80s. By tomorrow morning, lower 60s across the board, waking up to another mild start to the day. But more rain showers and a few thunderstorms, unfortunately, back in the forecast temperatures in the upper 70s and lower 80s. So here's how it's all going to play out. The theme of this future track right here is scattered showers. Notice how spotty our returns are right here. Maybe a little bit more widespread around lunchtime. That's about when our chances are going to peak. And then by later this evening, a few more chances. Then things calm down overnight. Cloud cover remains in the area. A few breaks in the cloud cover here and there. And then by tomorrow afternoon, you guessed it, more scattered showers in the forecast. I'm not seeing quite as high of a signal, though. So I kept chances for tomorrow a little bit on the lower side. Maybe a few quick thunderstorms in the forecast as well. By tomorrow evening, cloud cover across the area. Take a look at our forecast for the week. Upper 70s today, lower 80s tomorrow. Those rain chances just not going anywhere. Watching an ever so slight warming trend through about Tuesday or Wednesday before a bit of a cold front moves through. And then we're watching a better chance for some showers and storms by Wednesday, 80s by Thursday and Friday.